Hello, my name is Jay Freeman and I work out of CAE's offices in Orlando, Florida. I am a Synthetic Environment Technical Authority for CAE USA. In this capacity, I work with the U.S. Department of Defense and coalition partners to design and implement innovative data solutions so that synthetic environments can be used in mission support for analysis, decision making, and mission rehearsal. I serve as the lead architect for several ongoing CA projects, including NGA's FG3, FG3D, Foundation GeoEnt in 3D, US OCOM's Rapid 3D, and Joint Staff J7's Terrain Generation Service. All of these projects are leveraging synthetic environments for mission support. Mission support requires data-driven architectures. A popular catchphrase is that data is the new oil. Well, what does that mean? For mission support, it means how does one collect, store, manage, disseminate, and then exploit the data. Just like with oil, mission support solutions leveraging synthetic environments must identify and collect metaphorical oil fields of data, create storage containers to archive and manage that data, and then create pipelines to transfer the data to government agencies and combatant commanders so they can analyze and exploit the data. CAA is leading the industry with open data standards and simulation technologies. Our work with the Open Geospatial Consortium to standardize CDB, formerly known as the Common Database, is now providing customers such as the U.S. Joint Staff, U.S. SOCOM, National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, and U.K. Ministry of Defense, a data foundation that enables their next generation mission support capabilities. Beyond data standards, our technology to automate 3D construction, including from fortuitous stereo and full motion video, provides operators with leap ahead capabilities to get 3D products to the tactical edge for real time decision and mission support. The video compilation that follows highlights CA's capabilities to collect, store, manage, disseminate, and exploit data in a synthetic environment to enable mission command. And in the other video, listen to the former UK Joint Forces Commander talk about how the UK's single synthetic environment will enhance situational awareness, planning, and decision to support. We fully recognize these videos cannot do justice to a complex topic like leveraging synthetic environments for mission support, so we invite you to ask questions or request a follow-up using the contact form beside the screen. It would be our pleasure to begin a discussion and dialogue on how we can support your mission. The world is a much more uncertain and dangerous place and digital technologies can help us deal with this. We take the power of computer processing, cloud, artificial intelligence, connectivity, modelling, simulation and technology taken from the games industry. We can now build a single synthetic environment, a replication, a digital twin of an operating environment at scale and complexity that's never been possible before. This can show the terrain, the weather, critical national infrastructure of all types, so fuel, power, water, roads, rails, telecom, banking, supermarket distribution systems. Then it can show our forces, enemy forces, indeed any actors that you want to put into it. And crucially, it can then take the human geography, where people are, perhaps down to the level of an individual household, where they're moving to, and from social media, what they're thinking about and feeling. We can build a single synthetic environment, a replication of an operating environment the size of a country or an alliance. We can use this to support national security and resilience in the face of natural or man-made disaster or things like pandemics. We could do the same for the United Nations or the OSCE in their humanitarian or stabiliser operations around the world. So what are the benefits of a single synthetic environment or digital twin? Well first, it'll support the best ever situational understanding for governments and militaries and other organisations. 
then it will support the way we take decisions. We can actually test and adjust options in the model. Then it will support planning and the way that we direct and coordinate activity as it's actually underway. And if we can do that, it will support training and experimentation and mission rehearsal. It's essential to see these replications, these single synthetic environments, as digital ecosystems. They are a process, not an event. They constantly evolve and adapt with needs and technology and will always make sure that leaders and operators have the edge that they need to be successful.